Okay, quick review. We've got a web page here with some JavaScript. We've got some basic HTML for the hello world. And we got two lines here that are basic HTML, but we can modify them. When we click this button, it changes this message that said this is an old message, so this is a new message. And when we click the web page button, it's going to change from filmsbychris.com to bashscripts.info. So uh, let's change that a little bit more. We looked at changing the inner HTML uh, on uh, elements. Uh, what if it's a image element and you want to change the image when you click on a button? Well, we're going to do that today. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this paragraph tag and we're going to make it an image. So basic HTML, we're going to say source and we're going to say I have two images. I have one, They're both inside a folder, a subfolder called data and one's called tux1.png. And we can get rid of the rest of this line here. We can also change the ID tag. We can say it's image one. So now if we save this, when the page refreshes, you'll see we have an image of Tux as Mario. Uh, if we click a web page, you see that changes. If we click that, nothing seems to happen because the function up here is still looking for test one and is trying to add some HTML that doesn't exist. So first off, let's uh, change. let's change the button that says click me. We'll say, Make it say change image. Now we're going to look for an element instead of test one. We renamed it image one. And uh, we don't want to edit the HTML. We want to edit the source of that page, of that image. So then in here, we're going to tell it where we want the new image to come from. And I'm going to call an image from a subdirectory. It's not, the original is called tux1. This is actually tux3.png. Now, if we save this, page refreshes. Now, once again, I can still hit this web button and it changes that. And if I say change image, it changes to a new tux image. When I click these buttons, they are running the function again, but since the functions are calling the same thing once again, um, nothing appears to be changing to our eyes, although it really is changing. But let's say we want to be able to change back to the other image. Uh, there's probably better ways to do this, but we're just going to just create another function. So first off, let's let's rename this function because it's not new message anymore. We're going to call it new IMG for new image. We'll come back down here to the button that calls new message, new MSG, and we'll change it to new IMG just to make things make a little more sense with what we're changing. And then we'll create a new function by typing function here. And we're going to say, uh, how about old? IMG. Put our little squiggly brackets there, or braces if you want to call them. We'll say document dot get element by ID, and we're going to look for the same element as before because it's, it's we're going to be modifying the same element. So image one. And we're going to change the source of it. Say equal to, and we're going to this time look inside our data folder and we're going to change it back to tux1.png. Now you could do all this in one function. We might do that in a future tutorial, but I'm just doing this more to review what we've just gone over. So uh, we got this new function that changes it back to the original image, but where do we call that function? Let's just create another button. We're, it'll help us review what we're doing. We're going to say button type equals button. And then on click, so when this button is clicked, something, oh, there we go, I got an extra L there, I can tell it's wrong, equals, and we're going to run a function old IMG. And don't forget our little uh, parentheses there. And we will do our close our the little tag, and we'll say change image back. And we will say button to close that tag. We'll save that. The page should refresh up here. We're back to our Mario. You see we have an extra button here. Click it. Nothing seems to happen. Really, it's changing it to the image that it already is. So now we're going to go change image. Oh, now we can change back. Going back and forth. This button still works here. We can go back and forth to the two little tuxes. Um, so that is a way to change an element that is an image, uh, and we're going to change the source just by doing that. 
Uh, I'll have this script up on uh, my website in the link in the description. My website's filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.